When I'm playing or performing a piece, I absolutely adore the emotion that can come out of me <laughs> is sometimes I feel like I'm not me. And even though I love performing and having those experiences, I needed to find another creative outlet that would allow me to be financially stable. I chose to go to school in music because I was enjoying it so much in high school. I had so much fun and the recitals I gave, I got to play music I enjoyed and I, it, it, I just loved it so much. But I think sometime in my masters, I started, well one, I was growing up. I was getting older and thinking about things maybe more, a little more intellectually. And um, I kind of just realized that my personality and the way I work, I just wasn't enjoying the stressful environment of competitions and everything you have to play is 100% perfect. It became more of a, you know, a competitive sport that I wasn't enjoying. But then if I could just pick up a piece that I love to play and um, I played it, then I was happy. After I graduated is when I kind of realized I need something else in my life so I'm not that starving musician who lives in a little tiny apartment and can't do anything. I want to be able to explore the world, do other things while creating music. <laughs> So in about the summer of 2016, I looked into a bunch of different things and I kind of ran across programming. And as I researched it and looked into it, I just realized that it was something where I could use my creativity that I've always had, that I usually had um, used in music, um, but it's more of an environment where you create something, maybe you're creating it for a client and that client's like, oh, well, it looks good, but maybe we can tweak it here. And it's not like you're in a competition and you're losing points because you played one wrong note kind of a thing. It's more of a collaboration with other people um, along with the cre creative aspect of it. So after I decided that programming was something I wanted to do and explore more, I attended a coding boot camp for 12 weeks and after I and I completed all the courses and following that most of my programming career has been uh, as a teacher as a mentor um, and I meet with students day to day helping them try and solve problems fix their issues their broken code and it's usually you get this like peak of you're learning you're learning oh man, I don't know if I can do this. This may not seem like something I can handle. And then you kind of, a switch goes off in your head and then you, oh, I understand it, I've got it. And um, after that point, they have more excitement. I'm still a musician. I'm still a violinist. I still love playing. It is a huge passion in my life. But now I have two passions, music and programming. I feel very stable and I'm happy about where things are in my life. <laughs>